caught up in this fast life Every morning that I pray Gotta make it out some way Put a smile back on my mama face There's a fight going on now, even like with um, Brian Flores. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's gonna be like a Colin Kaepernick situation where, because he spoke up, he's not gonna get back? Oh yeah, I think I think he's I think he was I think he, like you look at the Houston Texans job, fired David Culley after one year. Um, Josh McCown seemed like he was gonna be the favorite, no coaching experience, so they pivot in a different direction and they hire Lovey Smith, who was a defensive coordinator. So, and the GM over there is Nick, who I love, Nick. Who, who, who hired Lovey Smith? Houston? The Texans. Okay, did. okay. And I think okay. that would have been, I think that would have been Flo's job. Right. I think Flo gets that job. But like I tell people all the time, the NFL is not 32 individuals trying to win Super Bowls. Yeah. It's 32, and the Green Bay is different because they have a different kind of setup with their ownership. But it's, it's basically 32, call it, groups of people who decide, hey, we have the National Football League. How do we get it? From X amount of money to this amount of money. That is the primary goal. Right. So what That's do they do? The if you attack the league, you attack them. So they come together and they be like, yo, Brian Flores, he's done right here. Yeah. He's done here. It's like, if you do that, they're going to try to make sure whichever owner does. For prime example, Michael Sam yeah. comes out, first gay guy, enters the draft, doesn't get drafted. Rams pick him up as a yeah. free agent. You think the league wanted that? Do you want SEC player of the year, yeah. defensive player of the year? He didn't get drafted. Yeah, that was crazy. Why not even take a chance on him with a seventh round pick? Right. But I'm, t- I truly, this is what I truly believe. And like I said, I have a great relationship with Mr. Kraft. We've talked about cap situation, um, and he tells me all the times that we we didn't blackball him. And I'm like, it looks like you blackballed him. Right. Whether y'all yeah. sent the email, yeah. Yeah. I said I I don't know. I said, but like you can't tell the average person who looks in. And sees all, I said, crap, just look at all the bums that are playing quarterback. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, you turn on the TV, you watch bum after bum play quarterback. Cause Kaepernick, right? You, I said, he, he, I think so he why wouldn't Cap get a job? Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, why wouldn't he get a job? Yeah. I thought he was coming, coming in to the playing. Patriots. Like, and yeah, I, I, I also I, said, there's certain teams he probably didn't fit on. But like one year, Washington signed Mark Sanchez, yeah. who hadn't played in like years, and they had like three quarterbacks Mark get Sanchez, hurt. Mark Sanchez. And it was like. I could think of a few quarterbacks. It was quarterback. Like at this point, like Mark Sanchez, and not to discredit his career, but at this point he was done. Yeah. But he came back in, and he was just out there. Yeah. And it's like, but like, I'm telling you, the league, they know like, hey, we're just not signing this did, guy. Did you kneel during that time? In 2017, okay. kneeled against the Houston Texans. My okay. guy. You kneel. And that was the thing. Like I told people, like I kneeled for one game. And, like, in the beginning, I never wanted to kneel because I, I, my personal feeling, I felt like the conversation became about kneeling. And I've had this conversation with and a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. I said, what, who are we trying to help? Because right. if we just, like, I forgot who my brother was talking to. And he you was said like, 2017? Yeah. And that's when you started doing a lot of the work. Yeah. Again. Okay. And somebody told my brother, he was like, he was like, I was mad at Cap. Don't keep kneeling. We need your voice. Now, Cap was different because Cap got to be out of the league and his voice got bigger. Yeah. For a lot Bigger. of us, yeah. that don't happen. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if I would have got out of the league, no one would have cared what I thought. No. And that's what I felt like. I was like, as players, like, we took a knee. Now people listening. Yeah. Ownership, donating money. Right. Like, yes. people here, like, tell them the stories now. Because yeah. it's not about us. Yeah. It's not about cat. Yeah. It's about the communities right. that we're in. Right. So, like, if this becomes about the owners talking to us, what do we need to do to get you to play? What that's not the problem. We yeah. want them to know about the communities. Right. What's going on in those communities? We want them to talk to people like you. We like not talk to me. Like yeah. I'm playing for the Patriots. Like I didn't grow up in Boston. I don't know that stuff. Yeah. I want to be the connection point. And that's what I that's why I was like, we took a knee. Now people hate us, but they listening. They yeah, watching. They Everybody watched my you press for that. conference. And, um, yeah. I don't want to talk about it, but I want to say that something happened in our community. It had nothing to do with you. Um, I don't know how you heard about it, but I know you reached out to me to check on me, most importantly, and to get my side of the story mm-hmm. and to see how you could fit in and help me and others because it wasn't just me that was going through that. And, like, like I said, like, y'all could go on and on, but, like, that meant so much because you didn't have to do that. 
right? But then it showed us, like, the real in you. Mm -hmm. Like, you really meant everything that you said from day one when I met you. And, you know, and you stood on that. And, like, I appreciate you. I love you for that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I feel like forever loyal, grateful. Because little things like that matters to us because people don't speak up for mm -hmm. us. Right, wrong, or different. You know how many people would be like, Oh, yeah, well, you know, they'll be all right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They'll figure, they'll, it, out. They'll figure it out. I, they'll I be got, all right. I got to go don't, to practice. But they don't mm -hmm. understand, not even, just, not even just an athlete, just the average day person didn't, yeah. didn't stand up for us. Mm -hmm. And you did that. Like, you took the time out. Like, you did that. Like, it, it, not just for me, but Kenny and, mm -hmm. you know, other people. Like, it meant a lot to us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because even for me and him, when we spoke after, it was like, yo, did this dude just call me? <laughs> like, I remember when you called me, I was heated. I was like, <laughs> And you was like, and oh, I know how mad she can be. Oh, no, but then <laughs> not. But even when we got on the phone, mm -hmm. it was peace. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because even when we, you was like, yeah, I just want to check on you. Mm -hmm. Like, so when we got on the phone, I was just like, man, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was cool. Uh, and at the end of that is that what happened? That's no, what no, happened. no, like, uh, I texted her and I was like, yeah, yo, Devin McCourty, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. we met and we was talking like, I don't know everything that's happening in here. But I was just like, I talked to these people. I don't want to assume like everything they said that yeah. happened happened. That's real. You know what I mean? It's just like and like to me that's just common sense. Like you a person just like they're a person. Right. Like it don't matter what their position is, your position. Like right. what you think happened? You know yeah. what I mean? How you feel about right. the situation? Right. You know what I mean? And yeah, that's right. all it was. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And real like I'm not to take away from nobody. Like you know, we all have rights and wrongs. We all have indifferences. We mm -hmm. all have whatever. I mean, for me, I'm passionate about my community, mm -hmm. and I mean what I say. And on top of it, like my integrity is everything, mm -hmm. and I will never compromise my integrity for the check for anything. Mm -hmm. So, and I stand on that. And right. when we speak up, this is my problem too with um, with society. It's like when we speak up. We, we, we speak up. There's so many injustice that people from my community that I faced and still face, and that's with community organizations. There's mm. different systems. I'm now learning that that a nonprofit business is a whole system within <laughs> itself. I'm <laughs> like, yo, I'm thinking here I, I am, see, yeah. throwing my story out here. This is mm -hmm. a woman who came from all of that that we talking about, everything that we fighting today. You know, all that changed my life around, giving back to, to so many people. I've done so much, right? And I don't want nothing. I just want my peoples to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. But um, and then here I am, and we're thinking like, and then I'm like, I right, bumped that. We could start our own shit. We start our own shit, and now we begging for dollars that belong to our community. Mm -hmm. I'm using my money. So many people don't even know that. For so many years, I used my own money mm -hmm. up until a New York organization where they they nationwide national um, for it's an organization for formerly incarcerated women. They saw my my vision. Mm -hmm. They saw my thing. They believed in it. They saw my work ethics, and they donated. Mm -hmm. And then it took. You know, y'all, the little locker team, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, every time y'all see me do a project, like, that means a lot. Mm -hmm. Because it could be, you know, to y'all, y'all might feel like, oh, this is just a couple of dollars or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that fed X amount difference. of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. was able to go grocery shopping mm -hmm. for these people. When Jonathan um, Jones, shout out to Robin, she plugged me with him or whatever. And him and a couple of other guys who I don't know because I only met him mm -hmm. to get the check. And... You know, they gave me a check to help the young men that I was working through Operation Exit mm -hmm. who got, went through the program, got the job, and, you know, they needed boots. So yeah, we mm -hmm. went to Kaha, balled out at Kaha on the Patriots dime. Yeah. Like, but it, but to, Shout out to the Patriots. Yeah, yeah like the, 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 the continuous work that y'all do, like you, Jonathan, um, I got videos on my phone of Wise, and he's breakdancing he with a bunch of little kids, and this big giant mm -hmm. is in the middle of the thing spinning. Mm -hmm. Like, and mind you, he's getting up in the kid's face like you next. Like, yeah, we got some good dude. I mean, that, to me, that's the best part of you know. What I mean, my twelve years is we it's have been some like, years? yeah, wow. we have some you like bet. genuine good dudes, man. That mm -hmm. like I live here and I want to be a part of. The you, community. Are you gonna yeah. like even when you retire, you gonna stay here? No, I live You're it. always I live welcome it. here. I live in Jersey, but I'll always be connected to you. You're oh, always man. welcome here. Yeah. Like me and my oh, wife are like, thinking about like yeah. keeping a spot here. Okay, like, so definitely. you're in Jersey? Yeah. Okay. You're always welcome well, here. Well, but if you go to Jersey, can you commit 
you know me, I am football, then that's your business. But can you commit to continue to work to do the work that yeah, we? Yeah, I'll have? always do that. Yeah, there's no Thank doubt about you, it. Thank you, man. We we, we appreciate, appreciate you, man, yeah, for real. No and it I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning, not a